we're looking at chapter 17, slide 7, and then we're looking at X bar and R charts. An experienced operator operator has operated machine over several days being careful to keep assignable causes of variation absent from the process. 25 random samples of n equals 6 were taken during this time and the sum of your x bars was 75.186 centimeters and the sum of your r's were 4.270 centimeters. Compute control limits for your X bar and R charts that are three standard deviations from their expected values. Assume the process mean was correctly set. Let's take a look at the information here. In this, we see N is equal to six. That means you have six observations in each sample set. How many sample sets were taken? 25. 25 sample sets were taken. We found that the means of the sample sets added all up. The 25 sample sets each had a different mean from the six observations within each set. But if we add them all up, it was 75.186. If we add the ranges of each one of those sample sets, it's 4.270 centimeters. So looking at that information, which I've written here, we have our sum of our X bars and the centimeters that that is, the sum of our R's, we have our N, but we have this 25. What is a 25? 25 is actually K. K is the number of sample sets, where N is the number within each sample set. So 25 sample sets of six observations in each set were taken. We want to compute here the upper and lower uh, control limits, which is upper control limit and lower control limit for the X bar chart and then for the R chart. Let's look at the X bar chart first. This is going to be equal to what's called X double bar or the grand mean or the mean of means plus A to R bar. R bar is actually our mean of our ranges and we'll compute that in just a minute. The A2 is a number we find on a chart which we'll go over in just a minute. The lower control limit here is the grand mean or the mean of means or the X double bar minus A2 R bar. So we have this mean of mean in this formula and we have a mean of ranges in the formula. How do we find that out? Well, X double bar is actually equal to the sum of our X bars divided by the number of sample sets that were taken. So that's K. So here our X double bar is going to be 75.186 divided by the number of sample sets that were taken K, which is 25. And if I did my math right, I got a 3.0074. Four. R bar, which is our range or our mean of our ranges, is actually the sum of the ranges of each one of those from those sample sets, again divided by the sample number of sample sets that were taken or K. So that is 4.270 divided by 25. And again, if I did my math right, that's 0 0.1708. So here are the numbers that we are looking at. We need to find for first our uh, X bar chart, the upper and lower control limits. So using these numbers, I'm going to again copy down what we have for the information here. We have the sum of our X bars being 
the sum of our r's being 4.270, our n is equal to 6, our k is equal to 25, our grand mean or our mean of means or our x double bar we figured out to be 3.00744 and our uh, mean of our ranges was 0 0.1708. Looking at what we have here, we want to start with the upper control limit for the X bar chart. Now, we said that it was the grand mean plus A to R bar. Well, we have the grand mean. It's 3.00744 plus some number times 0.1708 or R bar. Well, what is that number? Well, on page 740 of your uh, book is Appendix 5, and Table 2 is factors for determining from R the three symbol control limits for X bar and R charts. In other words, this is a chart you need to take a look at. We said our N was 6, and if you look at this first column, it's N, the number of observations in subgroups. We are going to use that number all the way across. It's going to determine for us. What is it going to determine? Well, I love this chart because it actually gives you all the answers. A2, the factor for the X-bar chart, which is 0.48. And in case you forget the formula, this chart is nice enough And it's not for some reason letting me scroll down on it, but it's nice enough. You'll look if you look down at the bottom of the chart, you'll find the different uh, formulas actually on the chart. So our A two for six point for six ends is 0.48. So for here, my A2, we said was 0.48. So now I can just do the math. And if I take 3.00744, I add it to 0.48, times 0 0.1708, that multiplication is 0 0.081984. It's going to give me my upper control limit of 3.089424. My lower control limit for X bar is the grand mean or the mean of means or the X double bar minus a to R bar. So we're actually using the same numbers, 3.00744, but subtracting 0.48 times 0 0.1708, which is going to give us 2.925456. This is my upper and lower control limits. What does this mean? Literally, we're looking at three standard deviations. That it's literally just that normal curve turned on its side, where the dotted line now is our grand mean. Our upper control limit is going to be up here, which is equal to 
0.89424 and our lower control limit for X bar is down here, which is 2.925456. So I should have three standard deviations on both sides of that grand means from the different sample sets that I have taken. How many sample sets? That was our K, that was 25. Using these same numbers, we want to find our upper control limit for our chart and our lower control limit for our chart. The upper control limit is found by D for our bar. Now, if we go back to that chart that we looked at, remember we were looking at 6N <clears throat> excuse me, or n equals 6. And we're looking at D4. I love this chart because look, upper control limit underneath what it says, factor for R chart, upper control limit D4. Here it is uh, 2.0. So for our upper control limit, D4, we're going to have a 2.00 times our R bar, which remember we said was 0 0.1708. And if we do the math on this, this should equal 0.3416. Our lower control limit is found by D3R bar, which if we look at that chart again, I just love this chart. Again, factors for our chart, lower control limit D3, we just have to find what our N is, six, which means our, our, our D3 for finding our lower control limit for the R chart is 0, 0.00. I'm real good, I can take zero, 0, 0.00 and multiply it times 0 0.1708 in my head because that's zero. If you notice on this chart, you have that lower control limit being zero. Remember R is range. We're looking at ranges here. Can a range ever be less than zero? No, because it's literally the number of clicks on a number line is all it is from one point to the next. It can never be less than zero. So you, ha you can take that in and do what I call my own personal dummy checks to make sure that I'm doing it right. And literally this right here again, we are looking at what looks like the roadway, but we're looking at three standard deviations on each side to get our upper control limit for our R chart and our lower control limit for our R chart. And literally zero is here and 0.3416. Yeah, this right here has a very small range um, and the standard deviations are very small. Um, this could be medication. You know, when we're cutting lengths of wood, the uh, deviations can be a little bit bigger, but when we're looking at something like uh, pediatric medic medication, you want your deviations to be very small. And that ends chapter 17's problem.